Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and today I'm back here with Tyler, and he's gonna be profiling his battle in boxers. Battle in boxers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to see this deck. This deck is actually really cool, and I really love the new support. So do you have any shout outs? Shout out. Let's play games and team problem. All right, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. Definitely hit that bell nursing come for our notification squad, and we're gonna get straight on into this. So let's go ahead and see what you're playing. Well, first of all, I gotta go over to Blue Sleeves. Okay. If anyone has seen the video, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Gone Crazy with the Battling Boxer guy, he plays Blue Sleeves in his Battling Boxer deck. So I thought, I have to have this deck in Blue Sleeves. There's no way. Yeah, you have to. Absolutely. It just, like, you have to. Dude, like, I love that video. It's like, an honor it's him. legendary. Honor that dude. Yeah. Shout out to him. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the deck. So, it's gonna be 40 main deck. We're starting with three of the new Battling Boxer Promoter. Uh, if you're familiar with Rescue Rabbit, this is Rescue Rabbit for the deck. If your opponent controls a monster, you can summon it from your hand for free, and then you tribute it for cost to deck special two battling boxers. But, and if you use any of those effects, you're locked to battling boxer for the rest of the turn. And he's just absolutely busted this best card in the deck. And so uh, It really is. He has a second effect in Grave. You can banish it from Grave. You can increase or de decrease the levels of all your boxers by one. Helps you make rank three and five plays. It's pretty nice. But you absolutely want to see him in your opening hand every game. Or at least a way to get to him. Yep. Next, you play three Battling Boxer Uppercutter. It's normally what you'll be summoning off the promoter. He says, on summon, add a Battling Boxer <coughs> monster or a counter counter trap mm -hmm. card from deck to hand. And he has a graveyard effect where if he's sent to the grave, you can either reborn a boxer, non-target, or set a counter counter trap from the graveyard. And this is sharp hard once per turn, so you have to pick mm -hmm. if you want to use either the search or the graveyard effect. Mm -hmm. You can't do both and same. He's absolutely a good car card to normal summon. He also gets you an extender if you don't open the promoter as well. Yeah, and there's so many like cool counter like counter cards that you can actually yeah, add off. There's a random counter. card you can get out of like, yeah. an old school card you can get. You can get the counter 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 trap card. <laughs> And then I'm playing another one that's uh, pretty commonly played right now, and you know, in addition to their actual battling boxer counter cards. Yeah. All right. Next, we got the new battling boxer chief second. This guy gives you an extra normal summon of a boxer. He also has a battle phase style uh, battle fader effect, where if you your opponent declares an attack while you control either a fire or a warrior, you mm -hmm. can hand special this dude, negate the attack. And then it, you can banish a monster to end phase. Mm -hmm. So you can like banish the monster they're going to attack with next. It's pretty nice. People do not realize that comes up a lot. And then this, you know, the extra normal summon is pretty good too. The, this and uppercutter is typically what you deck special off the promoter. This depends on hand. Next, I'm playing three battling boxer spare. This is a free, not once per turn special summon. If you control boxer, but you get no battle phase that turn. It says for the rest of the turns. So you know, I do it in main phase too if you want to preserve your battle phase. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what it was it, with Zexel era cards. They just hate battle phase, so like they keep giving all these no battle phase restriction cards. To I have no idea, but I like playing three of it because it's free extender. It's not once per turn. Yeah, it's really good. It's, it's pretty good going first as well because you don't need battle phase. Yeah, reprint. and funny thing, it was like one of the only cards that they did not reprint in the uh, Soul Burning Volcano yeah, set, which was kind of weird. Yeah. But hey, whatever. Yeah. It was a common. Next, I might get, uh, for the Battling Boxer Enthusiast, I might get roasted for this, but I'm playing only one Switch hitter. Just one? Just one. So he's a one, normal summon, mm -hmm. Monster Reborn, of a boxer. He locks you to boxers for this mm -hmm. turn, but, like, that doesn't matter because the deck locks you with promoter. Mm -hmm. This is also not once per turn, so if you get an extra normal and you mm -hmm. get access to it again, with add it from grave to hand, for example, you can just do it again. Mm -hmm. It's really good to combo off with the Chief Second once you get the promoter play going. And a neck for the man himself. Battling Boxer Glass Jaw. Normal does 2,000 idiot. <laughs> uh, for whatever reason, he has the effect where if he's ever attacked, he, he dies. So you can attack with a zero monster and die. If, you ever, if he's sent to grade by card effect, you can add a Battling Boxer and grade to hand. This is like a grind game card, and he's a 2,000 beat stick. So, like, if you ever detach this for effect, because most of the boxers detach for effect, you can get the trigger and that from grave to hand. Or if they, you know, walk into it and kill it. Or you can use the uh, new counter trap I'll show later, which can destroy this and trigger it that way. Yeah. The card is so weird. Next, for another extender, I'm playing Battling Boxer Shadow. If you're familiar with Time Thief Redoer's effect, or not Redoer, Time Thief Winder, where you detach material to hand special, this is what it does. Mm -hmm. You detach material from a Battling Boxer you control to summon this from your hand. And as for effects, you can detach the glass jaw and get the trigger. 
It's pretty nice. It's a pretty uh, beefy 18 body, too. Yeah. That's it for the box of monsters. Uh, hand traps. We got the ash. Plan three ash. Plan three draw. And we got three nibs for the monsters. You're going all in with those hand traps, Absolutely. bro. Absolutely. There's a reason for that. This is the best card. And, you know, everyone's playing draw right now. I think it's pretty good. And uh, partly why I'm playing this, because for uh, when we get to the later in the deck. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, that's pretty good against combo heavy strategies. Yeah, it really is. And plus, with, like, the Nibiru, you have outs to it. So, yeah, I like, can, I can, yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty easy to deal with with your deck. Yep. So I totally understand that. That's it for the monsters, spell cards. Unfortunately, this deck is pretty, I'd say mid, so Power Cross Spread is pretty nice in this deck. Mm -hmm. If you need a budget alternative, you can probably play stuff like uh, Triple T, and, or you can just play another Hand Trap over this, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't. I wouldn't say Pop Extravagance, because I'm, I'm not a fan of it, honestly, but... Maybe Desires as the last card out of your hand, almost kind of like what Salad does, if you, maybe. Yeah, if you play Desired, I would probably bump up all the one of to at least two, so to make sure they don't all go away. Yeah. Like Glass Jaw and Shadow and all that stuff. Mm hmm Then I'm playing Book of Moon. Everybody's playing Book of Moon right now. Yeah. And there's another reason for playing this as well, because, you know, normal summon, I'll book. Well, I guess I'll pass, and as you know, this is pretty strong against me, if I hit Promoter, stuff like that. Because speaking of booking Promoter, playing two crossouts. With the one combo. Um, I lose pretty hard to Ash, lose pretty hard to Nib. Draw kind of hurts a little bit, depends on what's mm -hmm. in hand. And this makes sure I, my play go off. And then uh, I can hit Book of Moon, because Book of Moon is really mm -hmm. strong against this deck. Yeah. Uh, Crossout's just really strong. Yeah. Next, we're doing one Battling Box Spirits. This is a uh, mill the top card of your deck for cost, and then target a Boxer Engrave, Reborn it in defense. So you could actually mill something for cause, and you're like, oh, I actually want to reborn, I just mill. You can do that if you want to. This is really good uh, comeback potential, and you can add it as well. Just one, since it's hard once per turn. Next is Rhoda. Uh, it's a warrior deck. Good uh, one-card starter, but uh, it loses hard to draw. It just depends on if you want to play it or not. But I like it. I had no problem with it. That's it for spells. Traps. We do play three imperm as well. Same reason with cross out. It's a good generic hand trap, and uh, imperm is really good against mm -hmm. promoter. That's like 12, like 12 hand traps in there. Yeah. That's pretty good. I, I kind of count Book of Moon as well. Yeah. It, it just depends. Yeah. That'd be like 15 if you count Book of Moon. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. How much room you have. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty small engine, I think. Mm -hmm. Next for trap cards, last two cards of 40 main date, we got the Battle Boxing Cross Counter. This is a monster negate. So basically what it says is if you have a if your opponent activates a monster effect while you have a number exceed monster or battling boxer exceed monster you can destroy one of the battling boxers or exceed you control negate and if you did that destroy it then you can summon a battling boxer monster with a different name from extra deck and attach this as material that's pretty good something to note if you do not destroy your monster this does not negate mm -hmm. and if you do not destroy it you don't get to summon the guy mm -hmm. from extra deck it's something to keep in mind, especially if with lead yolk. If you're like, I'll just detach from, instead from lead yolk. Well, this does not destroy. This does not negate destroying. And then the funny card that I'm searching for Uppercutter. Flamboat Flambo counter. counter. Is a counter counter trap card. It is. That is a spell trap negate by banishing a fire monster with 200 defense from your graveyard. Guess what has 200 defense in this deck? It's Conveniently. Like, it's like they planned it. They it planned, did. They planned it. They did. It has exactly 200 defense. They Plus, said, it's a rekindling target. If you want to play rekindling, <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? I think one of the other battling boxers is also mm -hmm. 200 defense, but it's one of the unplayable ones. I quote me, I could be wrong. I, I don't play the bad ones, but yeah. that's it for the main deck. Right? Yeah. That's pretty cool, though, that they did that to make him 200 defense. So you can get a spell trap negate and a monster negate. Yeah, you can. You can. That's pretty crazy. Yep. All right. So let's check out the extra deck. So we got best card in extra deck. Two copies of Battling Boxer King Dempsey. Mm -hmm. uh, Infernoble players are enjoying this right now. Basically on summon it says, add a, this is on special summon, not exceed summon by the way. Yep. Yeah. Add, either add or send a Battling Boxing Spell Trap or a Fire Warrior. Either add a hand or send a grave. And that's every, every time you special summon this thing. It's hard one for a turn, but you can keep mm -hmm. doing it over and over every turn. It also has a second effect that, you know, it comes up more in this deck more than actual infernoble combo variants. Mm -hmm. You detach a material from a monster you control. This is not cost, it's for effect, to make your battling boxers untargetable for the rest of the turn. So this can trigger glass draw. This can trigger 
lead yolk if you detach from it to give it 800 tech. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. And it sets up gray to put uppercutter in gray for your counter trip. Yeah. Next, I'm doing two copies of Battle Boxer Lead Yolk. The OG himself. Led uh, from the, uh, I think the same set that Dragon Rulers came out in. Yeah, Lord of the Techie on Galaxy. Yeah, that's what these are. And he is pretty much Dengirsu for your deck. If you're familiar with it, you detach instead if, if for each one of your boxes that would be destroyed, including himself. And every time he detaches, he gains 800 tech. Mm -hmm. That's permanent. So he'll go to 3,000, then he go to 38, and he just gets really huge and annoying. He's really sticky. Good to summon off the uh, Monster Gate trap. Mm -hmm. It'll give you one Dengirsu protection. Next, I'm doing one copy of number 79, Battling Boxer, Nova Kaiser. He's something you can make. He's just something you can make. Yeah. Um, he gains 100 attack for material under it. He can, once per turn, target a Battling Boxer engrave and attach the material. So what, and what's good about him is if he ever died by opponent's battle card effect, he soul charges all the materials under it. So it's good to make if you, you know your opponent's going to kill it and it summons all the guys out and you can trigger uppercutter and all that kind of stuff. What I wish it worked well with the counter trap though, because the counter trap, unfortunately this says opponent's card effect, so I wish that you could pop it with the counter trap to trigger it that way, mm -hmm. but unfortunately it doesn't work like that. It would have been nice though. Yeah, it would have. Next, I'm playing one, number 105, Star Cestus. Um, Does this come up a lot? Not yet, it hasn't. This is normally what I get rid of with Pot of Prosperity. Mm -hmm. But I know in our game today, I, mm -hmm. I, I was going to make this, and I was like, oh yeah, I prosperity to play. Because I wanted to, you can like uh, take three little fours during each player's battle step. If a battling box of battles, you can detach. Um, your monster can't be sure by battle. Your opponent takes the damage instead, and the monster is battling is affection negated. So I was trying to walk into access code when it was 63, and I wanted yeah. to drop it back to 23, and then, you know, kill mm -hmm. it. And then if you ever try to walk into it again, on your turn, you're like, oh, I'll use the effect, and you'll take damage instead. Yeah. It's pretty nice, but... Uh, that card is nuts. If you ever play a rum heavy build, the uh, rank up magic, mm -hmm. this is uh, going to be your bread and butter. Yeah, because you're going to go into the C105. Yeah. Speaking of C's, we got number C79, Battling Boxer General Kaiser. The um, He's pretty much a summon negate, special summon negate. Mm -hmm. Only inherent summons, not effects. He detaches two to negate the summon and destroy it. And he has a bonus effect. It's a, I believe it's battle phase focus. He can like send a Battling Boxer from deck to grave and mm -hmm. attach a monster's material. But you have to have a Nova Kaiser under it, so that you only get that effect if you're playing the Rum Heavy build. But he is a pretty good summon negate. You use the uh, promoter to increase 305s. There you go. I'm playing the F0 package because mm -hmm. uh, I play a bunch of non numbers, you know, Lead Yolk and Dempsey. Help make this for a monster negate. Comes up in grind games. That's pretty good. And then his partner in Corona playing Ga 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 Magician to revive a, like a Lead Yolk or a Dempsey and stack the uh, F0 on it. This, But this is typically a uh, prosperity banish because I don't think games go that long, but it's there if I ever need it. And then it's an exceed deck, so it has to be here. Zeus. Yeah, you gotta play Zeus. You gotta play Zeus. It's an exceed deck. Can't play uh, Downer though, because I'm not playing the uh, Cheat Commissioner Rank Three mm -hmm. Battle Boxer. I don't really care about that, but it's really funny. It's a really funny card. That's actually it for exceeds. I am playing a few links in here. Really? We got the Hita. Uh huh. Because uh, Fire Deck, Take Ash. Seen you know, the Link climb with it. Got the IP, Generic Link Two. Mm -hmm. Hand me Ibly or something. I can get rid of it easily. And a Nightmare Climb. If we ever, if I ever end on IP. And if I ever try to climb the access code with the Hita, that's a good way to do that. Yeah, it just gives you access to a little bit more, a little but, bit more push. Yeah, this is typically prosperity banish, but I like it to have it there. Yeah, the no, that's pretty cool though. Yeah. To give you a little bit of like, a little bit more push with the deck with the access code yeah, line. Yeah, trying to have every answer I possibly can. Yeah, I get that. I get that. So let's see the side deck. Uh, nothing really special about the side deck. We got the mm -hmm. two cosmic feather dusters, like in every one of my yeah. lists. Uh, back row is really a problem. Mm -hmm. Just nice to have an out. Uh, goes and match my fire only deck. If you're multi attribute, go bye bye, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's a smart idea. Yeah. Evenly, it's like an every side deck, I think. Especially mm -hmm. mine. Um, I skip my battle phase a lot, so why not skip it more? <laughs> Trying this out, not too sure how I feel about it yet. Herald of the Abyss. Three of it. Really? Um, this is interesting. It's probably the most spicy thing in here. Um, Expertly Noir is really annoying, and Unaffected Idiots are really annoying. 
So uh, this is nice to have an out for. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't think this deck can handle unaffected idiots really well. So that's what it's for. We're doing two D barrier. Just, two D barrier. Just two. Call something I don't want to see and maybe it'll turn into mm -hmm. me. It's kind of, you know, try my best not to call exceed so I can use my exceed stuff. But you do what you gotta do, I suppose. 15th card, uh, it's a rank four deck. I need game three. Cowboy for game. Cowboy. Yep, there it is. It's a German cowboy. Actually. Yeah, it is. It, it is. Really good. Shout That's out pretty to, cool. Shout out to Trey, by the way, for that. Yeah. Um, game three card. I need an answer. I yeah. think every deck needs some sort of game three answer. That's it. It really does. So, thank you so much. Do you have any other shout outs? Shout outs to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Calling Crazy guy for inspiring me to play this deck. <laughs> when, I, when I seen this new support, that was the first guy I thought of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this deck, dude. It's really cool. I like it's so fun to be able to watch you play this deck because it just makes so many cool rank fours. And the support's actually really good. Yeah, and like really the deck good. actually has good support. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come for our notifications. Come on, we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.